This is the last day of the buy one hardback, get one half off sale. So let's go see what we can find. Moving pictures. Hello there, moving pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I've been all around the world. Oh, every city, every place. First thing I find is Vanderbilt books, like Bitmore State, which always fascinates me. I normally hit the non-fiction section first because that's what interests me the most. And I like this local news, a true crime report from rural North Carolina. And it's actually about a crime like locally that I didn't know about this book is new just printed in 22 like this is very local so real quick i'm gonna look up when this happened so the murder happened in july of 04. i might have to get this book Ooh, i totally forgot these are hardbacks and i don't have this one yet okay Let's open up the cover because these, uh, there we go. I, I love these. All these books right here. You got to take the jackets off because the actual uh, book cover is really cool. So let's check this one. I've already read this one, but I'm just showing you. Apple, Apple Core. I've also already read this one. So we have Ursula. And we have Vanessa. I absolutely love this cover. If you've read this book, tell me about it in the comments, please. What is this? Okay, so I'm just down here looking at those and I come up and I'm walking by and check it out. What on earth? A Marvel haunted mansion? Creepy tales inspired by a pair of terrifying Disney attractions. One a fan favorite, and one that has entered into legend. Welcome foolish mortals to the Haunted Mansion. Poor Danny is trapped inside, but is there anyone he can trust to help him escape? Lost in the Neverwoods. So of course I start reading about it. And it's based in a small coastal town of Astoria, Oregon. Okay, does that sound familiar to anybody? Does it? Does it? The Goonies. I didn't realize there was a book, so who watched the 100 series? Like, I really, really liked it. I actually watched the series twice. I really like Brad Meltzer books. Signed copy. What's his signature look like? Oh, there we go. Ooh, now this one sounds interesting. Based at 1893 Chicago World's Fair. I also always check out the travel section because I love to travel so much. I'm probably, there's probably books in here that I've definitely already seen and read. I read this book many years ago. And it is very good. Highly recommend this one. Wow, check out all this Friends merch. I like these kind of notebooks. I always get them at Box Lunch. And I just realized they're $5 cheaper here. Box Lunch is $14.99. They're $9.99 here. This is hilarious. We were on a break. I just love these because they just have sections. They have, you know, like bookmarks. How you doing? I wish this was a little cheaper. $7.99. It's a notepad order of the day. That's really cool. Like a to-do list. There's only 52 sheets though. This is really cool. Okay, you guys know I love Hello Kitty. It's a jumbo squishy. It's scented. And it's $19.99. 
They have the Harry Potter notebook like this too. Yes, these are cool too. Which house are you? Comment below. $27.99. I can't believe I just realized I haven't seen this movie yet. I can't believe I haven't seen this movie. Let's check it out. Oh, I don't want to get this book because I have not seen the movie. I can't believe I didn't know this book was out there. Um, first page I turned to. Hmm, <laughs> Disney World closed only four times. Not that case anymore. I'm enjoying the uh, title names. Highly, highly recommend this book. Oh my gosh, so much stuff I learned from this book. Like, I couldn't put it down. Stay through the outro music. I'm going to show book covers that I really like. I'm actually in the kids section now. Um, oh, that's really cute. But the book covers I'm going to show you are mostly going to be adult books. I have a friend that's reading this Dolly Parton, James Patterson book. And he said it's really good. Technically, I guess I could fit a few more books in here, um, but I'm going to call it. I've been here at least an hour. It is time to head out, so are you ready for the haul? It's pretty heavy, like they had to put it in a bag with handles. Let's get started. So I'm just going to start with this awesome, like, journal calendar not really calendar journal it's a journal oh, wow i came up with calendar love it love the whole book art here this was 16.99 and i love that the spiral notebook lets you take it all the way back and it has a place for the date and then just lots of lines so love we're going to start with the one soft cover I got, and it is, we came, we saw, we left. I love traveling, love traveling with my family, and this, this seems, um, this seems, it's got to be comical at some point. A family gap year, nine months, six continents, and three teenagers. Do they have pictures in here? No, one part I thought I saw pictures. As I was just doing this fanning through i actually saw the word star wars <laughs> like in the middle of the book so I'm really curious about that um so when the Whelan family charlie his wife leah and three teenagers decided to find out and left decided to find out and left behind work school and even the family dogs to travel the world on a modest budge, budget this is just a chronicle basically of the nine months Okay, so now let's get with the hardback. How did I end up with... How did I end up with five hardbacks? Oh, no, that's four. Oh, my... I'm so... Oh, oh. Obviously, I can read but can't count. There we go. Okay, because I'm like, why would I get five and buy one, get one? So, I went ahead and got the Never Never book. Um, when did this come out? It... it because like how have i not i mean i knew it existed but i really haven't seen it in the store 22 so 2022 and these are really really easy quick reads and again i have to show you guys the cover like i just love these covers so you know i had to get a disney book in there somewhere at least one right or did i get another well let's wait and see now, this one isn't going to be something that most people would pick up, but I love history, and this has a lot of history in it. Even though it says it's just the astonishing life and reckoning of an iconic American song, it is actually a lot, like I was skimming through, and there's actually a really lot of history, really lot of history. Well, obviously I can read, but can't count or speak. Um, and I do love when they put historical pictures in books. 
I want to show y'all something. This is just, you see how thick that this book is? Very deceiving. It's only this thick because all of this is acknowledgments and notes. Yeah. Always pay attention when you read, like, not read, when you're, get, when you're shopping for books. If you're one that's like, oh, that's way too thick, I don't have time for that. If it is nonfiction, you need to open it up and see how much of it is actually the actual book. Only this big. Only 227 pages. That's all. Okay. Now, I did get this local um, nonfiction book. Like, I lived around here in 04. And I don't remember. No, granted, that is the year I had my son. A lot was going on then. So maybe I just missed it all in the news or blocked it out or whatever. But um, two men, a murder, and an unlikely fight for justice. Um, I, I couldn't resist. I mean, it's local. And my sister and my mom are probably definitely going to want to um, read this after me. So the author is the doctor who helped, like, helped this guy. It's the, the, the doctor, they had the same name. He fin this doctor finishes school and he comes to work at a place where there was a doctor with the same name, same last name, sorry, same last name. But he had already been um, incarcerated for the murder of his own father. So, oh, I think the problem is which book to read first. The, isn't that the problem when you get a haul? It's just not knowing which one to read first. I I think I may start with this one. And yes, another Disney book. It's been a while since I've bought a Disney book, guys. And now I've bought two. Unbirthday. I know a lot of people have already read this one. Um, but I am behind the times in my reading. I'm trying to catch back up on books I already have. Yeah, I really shouldn't even be buying these. Because I ha literally have... Yeah, it's out of frame on how tall, and I'm not exaggerating, how tall a stack of books I have that I haven't read yet. I am, I'm not exaggerating. So, unbirthday. And that is my haul. It's a very big haul for a book haul, especially hardbacks. And, you know, other than this one that won't take very long to read, these will take, oh, and this one shouldn't take long either. But the other three hardbacks, they have some volume to them, so... At some point, I will do like an update on what I'm reading and what I think of the books I've read, a review of those books and that type of thing. But I do have a lot of other book related videos on this channel, not just Disney stuff. So go ahead and check out the bookish videos playlist until the next page. I've been all around the world oh, Every city, every place